Okay, guys, Empress Five back on the mic. Um, so right now we're doing the um, A League versus B League. So bottom two of A League will be facing as the top two of um, B League. So that'll be me and Ko at the bottom of uh, A, and um, Green Shell and Nell Bomb at the top of B. So we will be having to fight those. I'll be fighting Green Shell after this. Pull up the BD bracket real quick. What about that? That okay, that makes me sad too. Oh my god. That actually I'm legit you're making me hella sad right now. Gotta spread the misery, huh? Round one. Seriously. Well, hopefully it'll be good. I think KO's running Vega. Yeah, KO's running Vega. I don't think he wants to run the mirror. You wanna hop on or? Alright. So I had Malcolm talking wrestling with me for a little bit. So let me uh, put it back on the full screen here. But yeah, KO does have a Vega. This was his apparently this was his main prior to Balrog's release. Back in season one, if I remember correctly. I'm sure he'll correct me later if I'm wrong. KO looking strong already. Doesn't seem to have lost his touch with Vega. Good jump in. Nice with punish on the standing fears with um from null bomb. Oh shit, let me pause this so we're not using too much bandwidth. There we go. Oh, that's a punish. But doesn't get a full punish. They're both pretty even on life. Now, um, Del Bomb has a life advantage. No more mask for Vega, so he's gonna get hit a little harder than normal. Good chunk of damage there. Very close to stun. Ooh, not stun, sorry. Very close to death. Good anti air from Mel Bob. Final round. Fight. Okay, KO starting off flawless. Deals with the EX wake up, uh, dash straight. Right now, Nelbomb being very oppressive. KO poking out, trying to get out of the, the pressure situation. Nice confirm from Nelbomb. Oh, gets that punished. He's gonna be death for KO right now. So Nelbomb up one. KO gonna run it back or is he gonna switch to Rob or to Rashid? Oh, he's gonna run it back. All right. Yep, that is a free punish every single time. Good anti air. Okay, I'm not making a lot of headway, but he gets a random sweep there. He's relying too much on it, but. He Nelbomb being very well aware of that, punishing it every single time. Gets a counter hit, but no conversion off of it. No more V trigger for uh, Vega, but doesn't matter since he got anti to death. 
Round two. Fight. No, I'm looking really strong right now. That was a nice meeting. Vega. It's a command grab. It's supposed to be set up. It goes low. Alright, one more hit and he's stunned. It's Benziva Fear Reversal to avoid the stun. Good spacing. A good air to air from Melbourne. KO okay, re puts on the claw. Dash low gets punished, but not by much. That was a really good air air. Is that jumping strong? That has to be jumping strong. A weird looking button, but I've never I have hardly ever see it used. But that was really good. Alright, KO cleaned that one up. Final round. Fight. Gets opened up. You're gonna dash straight out of that. Goes for the sweep. Max. Goes for another sweep. I don't know if I like this sweep, but it's two for two. Three for three on in this round. Good anti air from Elbom. And this is the um, punish on the B skill turn pop. Gets a super for his troubles. Alright, what's the setup? Neutral jump gets blocked. Yes, dash low to nothing. And they trade in the air, so that's KO tying it up. So winner will stay winner will go to A League and loser will go to B League. So this is a determining factor here. This is the 17th Let's see what KO will do. KO's gonna run it? Oh, he's gonna run it. Well he has no choice but to run it. Because he won. Forgot about that. My mistake. Gets the low to open up. No combo since it wasn't EX. But he does get the meter build, so that's equally as important. That's gonna be a punish. No, but I'm not blocking his legs. Gets stunned for it. Goes for the meter build setup. And gets command grab. Alright, this is um match point for KO. No bomb, not blocking low. It's a little tricky to scout, but if you can scout it, it's free punish every single time. It is a thing that they like to use in neutral a lot. Risky. As you can see there, he got punished for it. Alright, Vega out of the corner. But no bomb, not the thing on the attack. Alright, walks him out of the corner. Vega with full V trigger. Ball Rob, very close to it. Dash low. V trigger is an EX rush low. Surprise that way, but nothing off that. And KO takes that, so he will be staying, if I remember correctly, he will be staying in A-League. So I will have to fight Green Shell. Or are they going to continue playing? Are they gonna do- is this 3 out of 5, or...? Hold on, let me- I'll be right back. Fight. Okay, so I was just informed this is indeed 3 out of 5.
I guess considering the stakes, it does make sense that this is 3 out of 5. Good confirm off the counter hit from Nelbaum. Both pretty even on life. KO with a slight advantage until that happened. Ooh, gets overheaded, but no conversion off the Yoke. Gets out of the corner with the V-Trigger. Gets Barcelona in for his troubles. And then gets a command grab. One more guess. Uh, misses the command grab, but no punishment from there, but good punishment off the overhead. Kale has to respect that, and he knows that. Minus two, I think. Apparently somebody's excited over there. I think that was for League or Overwatch. I don't know what they're playing. Could be wrong. Regardless. Goes low into EX, um... Crimson Terror. EX dash low. It's a... Uh, stand medium kick, but... No conversion off of it. Wow. Very good stuff to KO, so I believe he will be staying in A-League. 